Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Admin Joe here, and with me is Joe Sylvester of the Umbrawlers. Hey, what's up? All right, Joe, we have a couple of questions to ask you, so hopefully you are ready for this. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right, so question number one is, what made you want to join a draft league? Well, I uh, joined the original single draft league way back in the day when uh, this first started. Um, did terrible. Uh, then I did the doubles draft. I did better at that um, ish. Super chancy. Um, but and then I just haven't played for a while. Then it was a new game and all that stuff. So I'm trying to get back into it. Singles probably isn't the best for me, but yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. And. Um... Obviously, since you said that, this isn't your first draft league. And what drew you to the PML's draft style? Well, some uh, random kid got into a trading group uh, way back in the day and said, hey, who wants to do a draft league? And then I kind of jumped in there, and that's uh, that's history. Oh, yeah. What's, your, what's been your favorite part of the draft leagues we've done so far? Uh, I don't know, just the competitiveness, I suppose. Um, just a lot of different styles and people playing. And, um, and I, I like the old style way we used to do it with megas and all that stuff. But now with everything new, no megas, it's kind of different. So it's interesting to get back into this. And we're not G-maxing with the with singles. So that kind of changes a lot of strategy of who, we, who you pick. Yeah, I kind of miss the Megas too, but I guess there's nothing we could really do about that at this point. Hopefully the next DLC. All right, so we're going to move on to the next question here. What do you hope to accomplish with your team? Uh, I suppose just win, I guess. I mean, that's all you really are trying to accomplish with your team for the most part. You're talking about, like, like win, like win scenario or you're talking about, like, win scenario? Yeah, like, strategy-wise. Like, how do you uh, plan on working your team? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to feel too much, but, I mean, I've got some slow, bulky Pokemon. Uh, I definitely want to try to take some hits because I know everybody's probably going to outspeed me or do their own little things. Um, I'm not going to try Trick Room because I know people are going to be ready for it uh, or try to find some way around it. And I know some people got some slow Pokemon just in case, too. Um... But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm basically just going to try to, you know, weather the storm and maybe get a few hits in and hopefully sweep the end, but we'll see what happens. All right. Well, um, tomorrow you're going to be watching, uh, well, hopefully you'll be watching um, the analyst of the videos, uh, well, of the teams for grading on your draft score. Um, one, one scores you really low. And one school scored you mid tier. Oh, I got scored. I didn't even know I got scored. Everyone got scored. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, I got I got a low score and a mid tier score. Eh, that's all right. I mean, I I pick a jumble of Pokemon. You know, I I really just pick the Pokemon that I knew I either I've either used or I already have built. So that's why I don't, like I haven't I don't I didn't pick any new Pokemon at all. Oh, well, I guess the Corsola. That's about you know new ish. No, I feel so. you on that. All right, so which Pokemon that you drafted do you think will impact your season the most? Yeah, you know, I really can't tell. Uh, a lot of people picked a lot of random Pokemon, and I only really know you and Morgan playing, so I don't know anybody else playing style. So I don't know who's going to really give me the biggest edge. I feel like Corsola might do some work. I don't think it's going to get any knockouts, but I think it's going to do some work. Um, so I think that's going to be my best setup. Uh, Snorlax not being on the G-Max is going to suck, but I think if I, I might play Snorlax differently, I think everybody's going to expect me to use Belly Drum, so I might either go that way or not. I just have to watch out for the, the, um, what's it called? Uh, Taunt. I just have to watch for the Taunt with the Snorlax if I do that way, but who knows? I mean, I might trick people out. Yeah, there's also those good um stockpile sets and curse, of course. Yep. Right. Just being a beefy Pokemon and taking 
taking shots and dishing them out. Um, which which Pokemon on the team do you think is your favorite for this draft? Which one do you think is gonna kind of boost your team the most? Um, I think I think Glissopod is I think Glissopod's gonna do good for me. I like Glissopod a lot. He's I think he's a Pokemon that's slept on a lot because he's not the strongest. He's not the fastest. Uh, he just kind of he's just kind of there, but he does stuff. So. I think first impression is a really good move, and I think that stops a lot of people's Pokemon. Um, or at least, it, it, this cell does a pretty good chunk of uh, damage, so. Okay. I think a lot of people pick some dark Pokemon. I know there's Umbreon out there, unfortunately, I didn't was able to pick it. Um, <laughs> I went for Glissopod instead. But, <clears throat> so like, you know, that's, uh, that kind of check, uh, puts Umbreon in check a little bit. Okay. Um, do you think the emergency exit ability is gonna hinder any in any way? Uh, as long as I don't D max it, um, I think I think it's gonna actually help me more because if it survives and hits, at least I'll be able to throw it out again and get another first impression and either you know stop have somebody use protect and waste a protect turn or whatever you know. So I think uh, I think emergency exit is gonna help me more than anything. And plus, you know, I do have Luxray and Intimidate, so if I wanted to, like, if Emergency actually gets pushed out, you know, I can always switch out Luxray if he's using a physical attacker, so there's ways of get, getting around that. Okay. Well, um, I noticed you drafted pretty bulky. Um, are you, did you have the timer in mind when you were drafting, or is that no, kind of a strategy uh, for you? I think everybody thinks I'm going to go straight up just stall, which I, I, I mean... Yes and no. I mean, I have got I've, my first two tier picks were like the biggest dolly Pokemon you can pick, and then there's Snorlax. So, but I think Snorlax can not only stall, but he can dish out some hits. So he's not going to just be stalling and like waiting around. You know, he's going to be hitting you too. So, um, and then I I don't think I mean Hitmonchan's too, not too bulky. Talonflame can be a glass cannon. Luxray can take some hits. Serena can be a glass cannon. Uh. But I'm I'm not I'm not trying to just waste the timer. But you know my my stall tactics is gonna mess with you a little bit and hopefully make you mad, make you make a mistake, or <laughs> you know. And then I'm gonna have some hard hitters to clean it up. You know. Yeah, I feel you on that. If the timer hits, the timer hits. I'm hoping it won't hit. But I haven't played singles with six on six yet, so like I don't know how the timer's gonna hit, especially with D Max and everybody saying the timer's too slow. So I don't know if it happens. It's not gonna be intentional. Um. I'm not gonna like use Chansey and do stupid, you know, whatever that crap was back in the day or whatever. So okay, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything like that. I'm sure hearing that puts a lot of the other coaches at ease. Yeah. And also, I mean, know, Toxic is gonna be involved, so I mean, I'll, I'll give that. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna use Toxic, and I think other people are too. So I'm not gonna be the only person using it. Oh yeah, I'm sure. All right. Um. So here's the real question here. What team do you think will be your biggest challenge to overcome this season? Uh, probably you and Morgan, just because I know you guys and you guys are really good at singles and um, I know you guys have beat me before. So, <laughs> I mean, I would say you guys are probably my biggest rivals. Um, I don't know anybody else really, so I've never seen anybody else play. So it, it's, you know, toss up. But it all depends on how everything plays out. Okay. I feel you on that. And then um, we're going to go ahead and round off this uh, interview with the very obscure question that Stuart asked me, and I feel like I should ask you. If you had a obscure pa superpower, what would it be? Now, here's an example. My answer was I'd be able to summon my favorite foods whenever I wanted to. So... Um. A never-ending bowl. A never-ending bowl. I yes. do love to bowl. And not, so. now, now let's now let's let's clarify this. It's just a, a bowl, and you could have whatever you wanted it. Okay. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just, it's just a, a bowl that just never ends, and you just think about what you want. All right. So you but want it, Olive but Garden. It but it can't be. It can't be money. It can only. It can only be. It can't be money. Let's put it that way. Okay, so it has to be some it's, sort it's of... It's just random stupid things that you can think of. 
like like chips, and then it just fills up the chips, and it never ends chips, and then you can turn it to something else. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, man. Thank you for taking time out of your day to do this interview. Oh, of course. Anytime. <laughs>